This is my Helium handheld setup for when I'm traveling alone, shooting alone on uh, solo documentaries. So welcome at Cinegear. It's pretty damn hot, but we thought it would be a good idea to take you through my Helium setup uh, while we're here and how I shoot whenever I'm um, doing my one-man band kind of stuff. So this is it, let's go through it. So obviously we start off with the uh, Helium body. Now Red changed their names, so now it's all DSMC2, but this is like the Ep Epic W. Um, now beneath that, I mounted it on an ARRI base plate, a broadcast base plate, which is great because you can really quickly change from tripod work to uh, shoulder mounted work. Um, and then we have my um, Vocas handle. Now the ARRI, um, the ARRI base plate ends here with two rosette mounts. And uh, on those rosette mounts, I mounted on the right side, I mounted a Vocas uh, handle system, a wooden handle with um, the start stop trigger to start recording and stop recording. So I can do that from here. And then uh, going up, the cable goes up and that actually goes into the sync cable. Uh, if you get like the um, top plate, you would actually have a separate trigger button. But I decided to not do that because of weight. Going to this side, we have a wooden camera top handle and it has a 50 millimeter rod opening over here. And that's where the Zakudo viewfinder mount is uh, put in and you can actually move it around and uh, on that mount you'll have the uh, Zakuda Gradical. Now I am not against using proprietary RAT viewfinders, I think their viewfinders are great but to me the extra flexibility that I get with the Zakuda Gradical just for using it on different cameras having the same uh, look inside the viewfinder it's just it works better for me. Um, then on top of that which is a bit weird and makes the camera a bit high um, is the Bright Tangerine Titan arm. Uh, Titan very fastly, you can actually hold it from the Titan arm. Um, and on there, there's the red seven inch uh, touch monitor uh, to use for all my controls. You can do it on the side, but I kind of like to have a separate monitor as well, especially if I'm in this situation, like shooting from the hip, you'll have your monitor right here. I think that's just a really great combination together with shoulder mounting and doing the Zakuda Gradical. Now going to the back, we have our V-Log Expander IO with uh, like my Apple earbuds attached. It's not the best quality in sound, but it's just, I only need to reference it. So for me, this works fine. Um, I've got my power to the Gradical coming from here, my SDI out, everything. Um, then power wise, I'm, I'd rather use a slightly smaller battery because it saves some weight. So um, on here now is the blue shape 90 watt uh, granite battery, the V-Lock one. And on there is my Zexcom uh, receiver. And the great thing is, is that we can actually, I, I attach that by uh, using the Velcro. So I have got like Velcro tape on all of my v batteries on the, on the back side. And I'll use that on here on the receiver side as well. I can just really easily, whenever I need to change batteries, I can. Just easily put it in here, this won't fall off. This is just a great system. Makes it kind of light and compact. Uh, and I've got like reference sound then on the camera. Um, the, the transmitters of Zaxcom will record um, uh, the audio as well on micro SD cards, just as a safety measure. And especially in documentary work, it's just great if someone just walks off and still have their sound. And then at the end, I'll have a bar coming from the back um, where I have my wooden camera A box on uh, through XLR, uh, XLR going straight to the camera. So I have my reference sound on there as well. Uh, setting wise in the camera, I'll use both the XLRs from the Zaxcom, but I'll also use the internal microphone of the RED because it's just good to have some extra reference sound whenever you need it. Um, so that's basically it. It's uh, like this cannon glass on there. I don't use a matte box whenever I'm shooting alone on a documentary because I just think it's too, it makes it too heavy. I actually just use the focus ring. It's not the best, not the most precise, but it will do, just do fine in documentary. And then there's a Kenko Variandi on there. So that, in short, 
is how I shoot.